Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, Cross Beats Production. What's going on? You here with Nate to Eight? This is Cross Beats Production. So I want to show you guys how I created my banner for my YouTube channel and how you go about doing that and how you can do it for free and it's not too much effort as well. So I figured I'd show you that. So first off, uh, PicMonkey is where I go to to do that. Just uh, click in uh, PicMonkey, obviously you type that into Google. And uh, first thing here is you go to edit when it comes up with this page and then you can drop in whatever banner you've got. What I normally do is I drop in the YouTube template banner and um, it'll load that up in a second obviously and it tells you then the dimensions of everything so the TV desktop tablet and desktop minimum and mobile so that shows you the the lines of where it sits within the YouTube page so this is mainly the first part that you'd see when most people load up YouTube and they see your banner there uh, so then what you can do is you can add an overlay which you just hit this little butterfly thing here go to add your own and go to my computer if you've got something already on your desktop or wherever you've got it saved um, then you just upload it from there. So this is what mine actually looked like when I finished with it So I'll just uh, skip past that and I'll put the original um, White page that I had on there. So I downloaded a HD wallpaper from you uh, from Google. Sorry and um, That's what it came up with so basically I just draw this to the the edges of the project there and that allows me then to have that uh, done like that so what you can do here, if you want to see where the lines are, just pull it to the side a little bit. You can then see just a little bit of a line on each side. Um, and then I already adjusted another page by using this feature here, crop. Um, you can adjust the page to what you've, what, whatever you want. You can scale the photo to the size, which I would recommend if you're using just that space on the side. So from the actual banner size, if you're just looking at this, it's actually 25601440 which is the actual full page there. So what page you want is the 2560, or the dimensions I should say, is uh, 2560 and 423. Um, that's that section there. So if you type in that, you'll get the actual uh, dimensions you're after. So 2560 by 423. And that's the actual uh, section of the banner there. So then you know what you've got to play with in that area. So if you just leave that as a section there and hit apply, it will actually crop that section there and that tells you then uh, what you've actually got. So if I just undo that, um, I wouldn't recommend cropping it whilst you're making the banner, but make an already cropped one and then upload it later. So what I would do then is upload my already cropped thing that I've got. So I'll just add the overlay, which is on my desktop as well somewhere. Uh, here it is here. So that's my pre-made overlay and it's already in the dimensions that I needed it to be. So I just quickly stretch it just so it suits the actual page that I've got here. And uh, I should just move this out of the way, it's really annoying. Go over here. So there we go. So basically that's what area I have to play with and then I know from there that all of the stuff that I play around with, it's actually going to be affecting just in this space here. So that's the area that you have to play with, right? So at least you've got it highlighted, you kind of know. And this section here outside of this, the white space, that's the TV area. And this is all the tablet and desktop uh, sort of stuff like that. So pretty much from there, you can just manipulate all of your stuff. You can adjust the fades, lighten it up to be exactly the same color. Um, how I did it, I actually did that and then I just shaded it a little bit. So it was shaded a bit of a bit of a different color. Um, so it was like a bluish kind of thing like that. Um, and that gave me a bit of an outline so I could see exactly what I was doing. So you can kind of see there exactly where you are, where you've got the grounds to play with and things like that. Um, at that stage, you can just go in and add your text, whatever that text might be. So just use whatever text you know type you want. Um, just type in your text. Obviously, that's cross beats, uh, which would be not typing in. So cross beats. So I've got that. So say that's my text, and I'm just using that, and I just center it just for the sake of it. Um, that's not the text I use, but anyway, that's the way I, I'll just show you guys. Uh, so I've got my text there, and then you can just put whatever else you want in there. So I added another little um, overlay, which basically was that little... It was an ECG, or a, <laughs> I guess an ECG line symbol there, um, but it kind of looked like a waveform, so I just used it, it worked out well. 
So what I did then to just make this uh, suitable for my page is I just minimized it a bit. I drew it to the side there so it kind of fits in that and then you can adjust the actual blend so it's like kind of a, a see-through type thing so the difference and that was the way it works so basically you know as as you saw the original one on my page if you actually loaded into my page you would see it uh, but that's pretty much how it came out and then you can just hit save and you just save it to your computer and stuff like that and then upload it onto onto your youtube channel and that's basically it so hope this was helpful for you guys um, i hope you guys got something out of it and otherwise remember to stay tuned for my channel for other stuff to do with music production anything music basically is this channel so uh once again hope you guys enjoyed this love you guys and peace hey yo hey yo hey yo hey yo cross beans production